Hey, happy holidays, everybody. I am Rod Apeldorn from Prylogic, and I am going to do a kind of a speed install of EasyRTC. Uh, my boss did not think that I could do it in under two minutes, so I'm going to try my darndest. Uh, so first off, I am going to do the Windows and Easy and RC, Easy RTC install steps that you are probably reading in the documentation. But I'm going to do this as quickly as I can. So first off, uh, step number one is install Node.js. So first thing I'm going to do is go over to the Node.js website, which is nodejs.org. And then from here, I am just going to choose install. This is on a Windows 7 box currently. So after we've downloaded it, I've got a nice fast internet connection. I hope you are as lucky. I am going to run it. Ignore any messages Windows likes to do. And I am going to install Node.js. This should not take very long. I am going to agree to sell my firstborn child. And then click on Next and Finish. This install. I do love the way that Node.js uh, puts itself in, where it will not only install itself as a program, but it will actually include a few developer tools along with it. Uh, some of my favorites include the Node Packet Manager and the Command Prompt, that where it sets up all the settings it needs. So Node.js is now actually installed in the background. The very next step, step number two, is create a folder to hold the EasyRTC application. I'm actually going to combine that with actually uh, downloading and uncompress, uh, uh, uncompressing it into a folder. So I'm going to go to our GitHub page. I've just got that bookmarked here. And I am going to download the zip in the upper left-hand corner. And I'm just going to download the zip of our entire repository. It is now downloaded and I'm just simply going to open it and uh, notice that I actually went into the folder here because I'm just going to select all the files. I found this is a little bit faster in order to extract all the files. So I'm going to uh, select all these files in this folder and extract to uh, I'm going to make a folder called node slash easy RTC and extract the entire directory there. And that is done. It's actually a pretty small system. Okay, now that, that is done, the next spot is to say in the start menu, launch the Node.js command prompt. So I'm going to start all programs. Node.js should have actually installed itself. And right here, we've got Node.js and the Node.js command prompt. This command prompt makes sure that all the Node.js files are in the path so you don't have to be trying to find anything. I did start off in my users rod folder, so I happen to know that I popped the EasyRTC into nodes, and then within nodes, uh, just do a directory here, and yes, here is EasyRTC. And now that I'm here, this should have all the information, uh, sorry, all the files from our e EasyRTC install, with the exception of required. Uh, packets, uh, sorry, packages. Uh, no, uh, sorry, EasyRTC does make use of the Express and Sockets I/O packages. And the easiest way to install those is from within this folder, typing npm space install. And what this does is it goes out to the internet and grabs the packages that are required by uh, for EasyRTC. And once those packages are set. All right, sorry, downloaded. We're actually ready to start EasyRTC right now. And one, uh, the defaults are to run on port 8080. So I'm just going to start it off by typing in node space uh, server.js. And this is running it here from the command prompt. There is ways to install it as a service, but this is running it here in the command prompt and has now actually started a server on our local host. So I am going to go to our local host now and just prove it works. Uh, and here it is, our landing page. Hopefully we'll make this better shortly. And when I just go into a video demo and connect, I am going to allow it to use my camera. And there we are. And from here, it should be uh, fairly straightforward to be able to get multiple connections in. You can have uh, multiple computers, hopefully being able to talk to the one that you have this one installed on. And um, you should be able to rock. All right. Thank you very much.